Your life as it has been is over. Hello, hello, hello. So, we are back in Oblivion. Woohoo. You know, I just can't resist. Sometimes I have to play Oblivion and I have to enjoy it for a little while. We are doing a um, Fighter's Guild quest, actually. And I'm going here. There's a Wandering Scholar here. Now, I am going to be invisible for this first part here. Because you go in this cave and you have to keep her safe from all the Daedra. And it's, it's easy to do if you can sneak in and sneak past her. And just be invisible and go kill everything. But if you just walk in and talk to her and get it started, it's a little more difficult to keep her alive. And I do want her to stay alive. I don't want her to die. I don't want to fail in my mission. So, so I have, uh, like I said, Invisible Scotty here is, he's all cloaked up. He doesn't have the gray fox cow on, which I could turn that on since we're going to sneak in first anyway. I'm not even going to stop and talk to her. And this is just one way of doing things. You can do things however you like. My guy has been doing so much sneaking, like... And, oh, I'll show you something that's funny. Let's see. Um, Where is my... Rats, I forgot where it is. Oh, my fame and infamy. Oh, I've got the mask on. Hold on, let's take the take Nocturnal's mask off for a second. Okay, so my fame is 30. I've been working it up because my infamy is like 50, and that's from doing all the Thieves Guild and the Dark Brotherhood stuff. <laughs> so all the bad things I've done works up my infamy, so I'm a bad guy. Every now and then, now most of the times the guards still talk to me like I'm pretty good, but every now and then they will say something to me like, oh, and somebody called me like Breton Scum last night. It was so funny. I just, I get tickled about these things. It's so... Uh, so nice. Hey, wait. Oh, I found a camp. How much you want to bet these guys can all die? I've heard that the great houses of Morrowind are in upheaval. Yes, I've heard that you need to die. How are you? There we go. Two down. I need this glass. I wanted to make some glass armor. Hey, dude. How you doing? My difficulty setting is high enough that even with a glass short sword and with it being well enchanted it takes a couple of hits to kill these people even though i'm invisible and you'll notice on the screen i get like six times damage because i'm invisible even so now i don't have my difficulty max though i don't want to give you the wrong impression i think i have it set fairly close to normal So I think it's about in the middle. Actually, we could look. I don't remember. I always forget. Yeah, it's about in the middle. You know, that's about normal. I think that's like your default average normal setting. I might crank it up when I'm a little higher level and I'm running around. I've already fought some ogres, but the ogres for me right now are pretty tough. Oh. We had some serious pop in there. I don't know if you saw that. Of course, in Oblivion, that's not unusual. All right. I'm going to do a save before we go in. Because like I always tell you, if the game is going to crash, it's going to crash with me on this side of the door before I get that auto save. You only get that auto save on the other side of the door. I think they did that wrong. It really should auto-save before... Oh, looky here. Now, see, I don't want to talk to her and get this started. So we're going to sneak around. What's what she got here? Oh, we don't care about that. Does she have anything else? She has a lamp. I mean, a, a candle. All right, we're going we're gonna to go down and clear out... Yeah, we're going to clear everything out. Because I remember the Daedra down here are more than she can really handle and she dies from what I remember she dies pretty easy yeah look I've got Daedroth which for me would be fun 
and I would uncloak and fight him, but then she might come join me, and I don't want that. Lately, I've been fighting these guys more because I want to repair my armor more, and I want to uh, work up my armor skill more, so I've been sneaking less, but this is a time where to my mind, it, it just seems a little easier to go ahead and sneak. I do have the Orrery DLC, so I guess I've started that, whether I meant to or not. I'm going to go ahead and use this since Zero Star is reusable. I have two ways to go here. Hold on a second. Now, I don't remember these caves <laughs> sufficiently. To be able to say, oh, I know exactly where to go and what to do. No, I'm, I don't. I like to play Oblivion. One of the things I like about it is I don't remember all the caves. I don't remember all the things. Now, yeah, a few, uh, just like in Skyrim, a few of the ones that you do a lot, you do all the time, those you remember. But uh, for the most part, I don't remember all of them. I don't try either. It helps replayability if I don't remember all those old details. Plus, when you don't play for years, like I haven't played this in a few years, I, I didn't realize it had been so long. It's actually been like two or three years since the last time I had played this. And I was like, wow, that's a long, at least according to my last save. That was, you know, I think that's one of those spider daedras there. Those girls are, I don't know, those girls are like nightmare things, half spider, half woman, just, ugh. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it was going to be her. And her little pet's worse than she is, as far as I'm concerned. Because you don't always see it, and it gets you. Oh, got a nice ebony ring. There's Rocky. I should have brought my guy. I could have brought little Rocky. I like this version of the Storm Guy more than the uh, other version, to, uh, I guess the uh, Skyrim and ESO version. Now, is it does it make that much difference? Probably not, but I do like this version better. Probably because I always liked the thing, and I like the I idea that this guy's a big bunch of rocks, and he can punch me. He's not just a caster, he does punch you. Oh, I'm going to use it anyway. It fills me back up. All right. Oh, we even have a clan fear in here. I wasn't expecting that. I thought maybe I was beyond those guys. Of course, they can be a pain, too. Two pounds on the claws. The Daedross are so funny. They, they practically laugh when you're killing them. Their teeth is only half a pound. The ogres have like three pound teeth, which is like, that's ridiculous. But even for some of its quirkiness, I like this game really good. Is this where we're trying to get to? Hold on, I'm going to have to recast my spell. There we go. Later, when I'm not on such a mission, I'll be able to fight more of these. When I close the gates, it'll be more fun. I have not even, I still have not initiated the main quest line. I will tell you, I'm doing all this stuff, and I am purposefully not initiating that. I'll, I'll show you here. Um, like here, you can see I've initiated a number of things and I'm doing some different things that you do. I did go out to the Shivering Isle, but I have not gone to find the air at all. I have not started that because that's when the gates start. And when I start that, I'm going to have a lot of gates to open or to close. I mean, I'm going to have a lot of gates. I'm going to be busy, which is fun. Uh, but I'm not ready to do that yet. I, this is the first time that I have delayed so long in beginning 
the main quest. I usually start the main quest. This door, by the way, is to another passage. We'll get that in a minute. But I usually don't delay so long because I do enjoy the main quest line. It's kind of funny. I enjoy Skyrim, and I enjoy Skyrim's quest lines okay, but I think I enjoy the game and modding it more than the quests. Whereas this game, I enjoy the quest lines and the quests more. Does that make sense? I hope I'm saying that correctly so that it makes sense. I just do. Would I say that they're really a, a ton better? I don't know that they're really a ton better, but for some reason, I like it better. Beats me. I just know what I like. I don't always, you know, I'm not always going to be able to maybe uh, mention, maybe uh, explain, yeah, explain why, but uh, in this case, I just like this better. There are things I like better. I'm about dead again. I keep getting injured. Here, we'll take a magic potion. We'll speed this process up a little bit. Let me see. Do I need to... Yeah, charge that up. Oh, I'm at the bottom. Hold on. Restore magic. That one will do. Let's just do that. That'll do fine. It'll allow me to do all of this. I can stand here. The reason I'd like to do it this way is I can work up my restoration. Which is important for me, I think, to work up my restoration. Even though I'm not hugely a mage character, I'm really more... I'm really more of a roguey character. Um, definitely the way I've been playing. Are we going to have some Dramora? We are. Oh, gods. The Master. Hey, I've been looking for the Master. The Master, Mortar, and Pestle. That's great. Or if I should switch to my bow and shoot these guys for fun. It's more fun to shoot these guys. I'm easily amused, though. You, you may not think so. But see, I just love the way they get popped back. There we go. I will take your stuff, unless it's a 48-pound sword. Yeah, that I'm, I'm probably not going to take that. That's one of those things. That's hard to carry. Hard to carry. Let's see, a 62-pound sword. No, no, I will pass. I thought he would have a stick. He does. I'm taking it. I'm taking your stick. We just have to live with it, deal with it. Now, I don't know that this is actually even part of the quest. But, oh, how did I miss him? Did that shoot between his legs or something? I am still working up my archery, or marksman as they call it in this game. Oh, of course, he's resisting the shock. I always do my weapons in this game with uh, shock and fire and frost. Oh, well, okay. There. It's just an old thing I do. I think it's fun to do that. Where's his rocks at? Can't I? It's like I can't hardly loot him. There we go. Did I miss somebody, or are they in another section? Let me check the map here. Oh, they're in that other... Maybe I should go over there. That looks like a dead end. Let's go do that first. Well, I guess first is the wrong way to say that. Let's go do that now, as opposed to what I'm doing now. <laughs> I don't know if that's the best way to put this. Anyway, let's open the door. The only thing is, I don't get the six times damage bonus with the, uh... Oh, that's funny. That's cool, though. We'll sell that. 
you'll notice I have like over 200,000 gold. That's one thing. You you make a lot of money in this game without too much trouble. If you just play through and do the quests and have a good time, you are required to have a good time, if you ask me. <laughs> Which, oh, how did that? I must have missed over his shoulder somehow. Let's see, do I need to charge this? I probably do. I'm, I'm just shooting, 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 and not charging. Yep, see that bow needs a charge. Eh. Rump all you want, Rocky. We're still gonna get you. There we go. Alright, we'll take that stuff. What's that, a 62 pound sword? No, we're not taking that. That's not worth the money. Oh, that's part of the storm at Jernak. He fell over. Wow, dude, you really made a mess of yourself. All right, that's fine. Dun, 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 dun. Let's keep going. Oh, I'm about to pop up my... Nah, now, I like... One of the things I like in Oblivion that they took out when they made Skyrim was the Night Eye. I like the Night Eye. I like the fact that you can cast the spell and it lasts two minutes. I can make it last at least two minutes, which is not the best, but is not the worst. But I don't know why. When they made Skyrim, they removed a number of things that I thought were pretty cool. Let's see. I'm going to switch to my sword. Because I'm probably going to have to kill this fish. Oh, look. Oh, Chameleon, 25%. Hmm. It weighs a little much to use, like I use my other Chameleon suit. But that's still nice. Something I'll have to think about. Oh, I should have put on a, a water breathing spell, shouldn't I? I have one, just give me a minute. I created one. The best one I could make was 40 seconds. But that's sufficient, really. It should allow me to explore down here. Well, okay, it allowed me to explore all I needed, so... I guess that's all that matters. Can I get up and out here? There we go. Alright, so who are you guys? Oh, I see. Ordramora. I don't even think that woman will come down here, but... Oh, dude, you moved. Made me waste an arrow. There. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, now see, that sword is 62 pounds, but it is worth 10 gold a pound. So in this game, I find that to be acceptable if it's worth at least 10 gold a pound. Now, I might get more picky because I have plenty of money. I could go up to like 20 gold a pound. But we'll see. Fuss, fuss, fuss. Oh, and his too. Hmm. See, now I may have to get picky and, and drop those. Depends on how heavy that makes me. That's two heavy swords. Oh, the master. Oh, that's two masters in one dungeon. Okay. Now, I don't remember ever having that happen before. Two masters in one dungeon. And I needed both. The only master I had when I came in was the Calcinator. Oh, that's super nice. All right. That's cool. Now, like I said, I don't I don't remember having two masters pop in the same dungeon for me before. So that's pretty cool. Especially not in a single trip. 
usually, you know, usually you go away for a while and you come back and you revisit those chests in case you, uh, you know, have a chance to get another masterpiece. Because now, what do I need? Let's see, I have Alembic, Calcinator, Mortar, and Pestle. So, Retort. I need the Master Retort. That's cool, though. Let's see, did I charge my weapon? Probably not. I'm all over the place. I'm tickled, though, with the... Uh, it's hard to get those Master items. Well, okay, I guess it's not super hard, but... You know, they're not as easy to come by as the others. You can buy all the others, or you can find them really easy. The master ones are a little harder to find. And I have three of the four, which is pretty good. What level am I? I don't think my guy is that higher level. Oh, he's level 21. Okay. Well, usually, I think before I get this far along, I'm, I'm higher level. Rocky, why are you all in my face, dude? It's not like you can see me, right? Oh, I must... What did I do? Shoot that under his arm? I must have. Sometimes I will find those stray arrows. And sometimes not. Okay, that's all right. It's not that big a deal to me. Let's see. Let's do... Let's go ahead and fill up our sword. So it'll be full for later. Oh, was this it? Was that everything? Hold on, let me check. Oh yeah, that's everything down here. Is this outside or is this back in the beginning? This is outside. Okay, let's hop out. I'm okay with that. I should have saved beforehand though. I should have. What is that? Is that my horse? Or is that an aminol? It looks like an aminol of some kind. Oh, is it the deer? Why well, don't bother the deer? Y'all are fine. You go ahead. Okay. Alright, so I'm not sneaking. And I'm going to switch my spell. And I'm going to also switch my outfit. Let me find the uh, cave again. And I will go in. And this time I will talk to her since we've cleared everything out. At least I believe we have. Alright, so let's switch it up. This is one of those things, though, that I find the uh, chameleon suit, you know, the idea that you're invisible, I find it to be very handy. Oh, we better take off that cow. Some people will get upset if you're wearing that. I code name all my stuff so I know what the enchant on it is. These are all strong, of course, so that I can carry more and do more damage. And we're going to switch to our sword. And I'll just put this away. There we go. All right, we'll be in good shape now. I'll do a save. Is that cheating? Maybe that's cheating, but this way... I don't have to defend her from all the Dramora and all the Daedra. I can just come in and go, oh, we've taken care of it, lady. Oh, yes. How do you do? How do you do? Ah, you must be from the Fighters Guild. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. I'm looking forward to our investigation. Fascinating subject, these Daedra. Yes. Okay. What's the rumors? A good man who honors the Nine may visit the Way Shrines of Akatosh for blessings of speed and magicka. Yeah, it's kind of funny. They don't like me right now because my infamy is so high. Let's see, what does she like? She likes joke and coerce. Yeah, joke and coerce. That's, I doubt. Don't. Yes, yes. So she likes Whatever joke and coerce. So we'll avoid everything yes, else as much as we can. Not bad. I doubt. Don't, don't, please, I'm sorry. I not, whatever you, sure, that's cute. I try to work up their, sure, that's cute. Their likeness of me, or don't, whatever you want to sure, call it. I doubt it. Don't, whatever you, sure, I doubt it. 82, and she's still not happy. No more, sure, Disposition, disposition, that's it. 
There we go. So we talked her up. I get it. I am Elante of Alanor. I am Elante. How nice. My research shows there is likely a shrine in these caves. Well, my research shows there's a bunch of dead bodies and a shrine, yes. Handle any difficulties. Yes, let's investigate. And keep on your toes. Don't worry, lady. There shouldn't be any more here. You stay with me. We're going to go down to the shrine. I've already looted all the chests. Is she coming? Is she coming with me? Oh, do I have to follow her? Oh. I thought she would follow me. Okay. <laughs> I guess I did not remember this quest properly. Maybe this is why I decided to do it this way. It's all good. It's all good, lady. See, we've taken care of everything. You can just walk on through. It's a breeze. We even killed all the big spider ladies in here. I try to find ways to get around the escort quests so they're not so bad. And this this was one solution I worked up a long time ago for this one. Shall we go? Oh really? You walk in a dead end. All right, all right, move on. <laughs> well, no wonder I did it this way. Yeah. See, she can die, too. She's not a crown. I was on an escort quest with Orion, you know, the Fighters Guild dude, your boss, and he, uh, did I get her? Yeah, I did. He has a crown, so he can't die. So I really didn't have to worry about him. I was just like, eh, he'll be all right. So I just tried not to hit him if I could, you know. But that's another thing about escort quests in this game. They can get in the way, and then you're halfway beating them to death, even though you don't mean to. Oh, I did, I did miss that one. Look at that. I missed that one. Go ahead, lady. It's all right. That potion's worth a little bit of money. Not that much, but it's worth a little bit. So now this is just a cave stroll. I am glad they decided not to have roots like that in Skyrim. See, there were a few changes they made that were pretty good. Oh, a fine example of a Diedrich shrine. Sorry for the trouble getting here. Let's keep moving. Okay, I'm with you. That should be the end of the quest. I'm not sure who this was supposed to be, though. Does she tell us which Daedric this guy this was supposed to be? Was that the end of the quest? Look at that. I don't have any marker. Oh. I think I'll study this shrine a bit longer. You can make your way out here. I thank you again for your help. Please take this as a token of my thanks. Oh, okay. You can't be too careful out in the wilderness. Almost any creature you find is liable to give you a disease. Yeah, I know. I know. It's a pain. A fine study to add to my research. I thank you for your help. I appreciate all of your help. Thank you. Okay, she doesn't have any more thank to say. Again. Yes, you're welcome. Okay, so I can just go back to Azan. Okay, that's fine. Me and Shadowmere will head back to Anvil. So, to me, that's the easy way of doing that quest. 
I do not like escort quests anyway. Though I guess if you ran ahead of her far enough, you would lose her and just come back for her later. Still, I don't trust that. Because a lot of times when I get into combat, do I need to be in this? Yeah, this is, this is fine. This is the way to go. A lot of times you get into combat and the NPCs try to come help you. Of course, I used to love to get... Um, who's the guy? I haven't done any of the arena stuff yet. Who's the guy? The fan, right? I forget his... The, whole, the adoring fan. That's it. Okay. So anyway, I like to get him to follow me because I... He'll respawn occasionally, but he will die, and it's hilarious. I just think it's so funny. He gets, he either tries to run away and gets in too much trouble and gets killed, or he actually tries to fight and gets killed. Most of the time, he tries to run away, but even when he dies, he respawns. He, he will respawn sooner or later and show up again. So, pretty funny to me. I used to think that was a good hoot. I would take him into the uh, Oblivion Gates. <laughs> I know it's mean. Matter of fact, there was one game on one of my guys. I would take all the followers the game would let me have. And it would let me have, like, I could have an elemental follower. I could have him, the adoring fan. I could have a mage, a fighter's guild, and a brother. Was it a fighter's guild or something else? And a, And a brotherhood follower, that was it. So I would have all these followers. I would have like four or five followers, and they would almost all die before I would ever get out of the Oblivion Gate. It's so funny. Or get to the Sigil Stone. Did I just go in the Mage's Guild? Oh, no, I went in the right place. Good. Oh, it must be late. They're all going to bed. Oh. It took y'all this long to decide to go to bed? Oh, you left me a bed. Thank you. Here. I'm an early riser. We'll get up early. Oh. Well, okay. I had company, and I didn't know it, so I was not able to appreciate it. Hello. Goodbye. You know, usually, where is the guy? Usually the, the butler dude is all in my face. Hmm. He's not here. That's unusual. Anyway. He's usually watching me like I'm going to come in and steal all their sweet rolls. Oh, here you are. Hello. Should be helping out a I hope I can help. Well, let's see. You've finished excellent. Good work, guildmate. Here's your payment for the contract. All right, very nice. You've been doing a good job, and under a lot of scrutiny. I've been authorized to promote you to the rank of Guardian. Good work. Good work. Good work. Let's do the contract. I understand Orain is looking for you again. Oh, it's Orain. Okay. Let's speak with the man. All right, all right. What do you train? Let's get to training. Oh, blunt. Well, Bye. that's all right. I never do blunt. Greetings, My very first Hello. character was a warrior, and I had him do all the warrior skills, which was blunt and hand-to-hand -hand and everything, which was pretty fun in its own way, but, but it was a little tough at times. Let's go see. Maybe I should go sell some stuff. I didn't check to see how heavy I am. I'm not too heavy, but I'm heavy enough to go sell some things. It's early enough I should be able to get here and sell, because I have Shadow Mirror, so I travel pretty fast. Yeah, not too bad. What time is it? Yeah, it's noon. We didn't we made pretty good time. Now I have a charm spell, which also buffs my mercantile, and that's what I use. Once your illusion gets high enough, I think once you're like expert or master, and uh, I use that 
I hope I can help to help me in all my interactions, and that's how I make oh, a lot of money. Is because I I have them charmed. I interest you in? Oh wait, I didn't repair everything. Hold on, hold that thought. I'll be right back. I want to make sure I repair everything while I'm at it. If I need to charge up anything, nothing. Lesser? Do I need anything? Hey, you can give that a little charge. Do I have any pennies? I do. Oh, let's finish it out. That's good. There we go. Well met. Well met. Have a look around. You won't find. All right, dude. I want you to buy some of the stuff I don't want. The ebony bow. Hmm. It does more damage than the glass bow, but it also weighs more. So it's something I have to weigh out. Hmm. I might keep that one, though. I keep the arrows if they're good. I don't keep the iron arrows, so I don't that keep the two-handed weapons, these things. Oh, my mercantile has increased. How, how good are we doing? Oh, I'm a journeyman of mercantile. Woo. Oh, good. Now I can sell anything to anybody. Finally, this that has been a pain. That's why I come to this guy so much. I don't just stop anywhere because stopping anywhere, um, they won't buy all my stuff. Okay, anyway, that is beside the point. Let's get rid of this stuff. Steel bow. Warhammer of feeding. Ooh. Let's see if we can get rid of that. I'm past the chain mail. That seems I'm currently using, uh, what am I using, Mithril? I was going to use, I thought about using Elven, and I did save, but I'm getting glass now, so I'm probably going to use that. However, this piece of armor I will probably save because it has that chameleon 25%, which if I could get, like right now I have five items at 20%. If I could get four items at 25%, then... I could just use four items and be fully invisible instead of five. So that would be of a slight advantage to me. Not huge, but slight. I have some rings saved. Um, I have some elven stuff saved. I'm not going to save any more. I might save... I'm really looking for glass gauntlets. I have a couple of these saved, and I don't wear the glass helmet. I'm going to use the the hood. I think I'm going to sell these. I don't need any more amulets. I don't need any more mithril. I don't need necklace of the sea. I don't need that. I don't need that. I like the mithril anyway. And once I work up my light armor, I'll probably switch to my heavy armor and I'll probably use like the imperial guard armor since I saved me a, a suit of it. Now let's see. I have to be careful what I sell. Okay, I can't sell the retort but I can sell the Alembic, cas Calcinator and Mortar and Pestle. Okay, so sell that. You got a great sell that. You drive a hard Don't sell volume. that. Alright, that's going to improve my potions quite a bit and I save a lot of my feather potions and things of that nature we can get rid of these I don't need these I never use theirs because I make my own I try to make most of mine now some of my earlier ones actually weigh 0.2 but most of my potions will weigh 0.1 because then you can carry a lot of potions and it doesn't cost you a lot of weight. Not a lot of poundage. But half pound potions. And you know if you make a watermelon potion, it's five pounds. So you don't want to do that. I think pumpkins are just as bad. Do I have any heavy ingredients? Let's sell that. I always sell the heavy ingredients. Like that's two pounds. I don't need them for anything. Two pounds. And I don't need these for anything. I'm not going to do anything with them. Half a pound. I don't need that. Point two. No. Thank you anyway. 
Day draws teeth? No, I don't need those. Nurn Root is an exception. Because I'm doing the quest, of course. Void salts are uh, an exception because I will save them. I won't use them for potions. That way I can have a follower, you know. You drive a little rocky. A fine transaction. Yes, let's sell you all the junk that I do not want. Such as the flawed topaz. Okay, I have 11 repair hammers, so I'm okay there. I was wanting to move or do something just a moment ago, and now it has escaped my mind. I know, a pleasure to serve me. Well, we're repaired. Let's read that book. I might have to sell that book to him. There we go. I'm done with it now. I don't need it anymore. Let's see what we can do. No, I want to make my... That's right. I want to make my potions elsewhere. Where am I at in my... I didn't make alchemy a primary skill because it's... It levels you too easily. I don't mind illusion so much. It, it has its purposes. But alchemy, if you make that a major skill, it, it levels you a lot. It does increase your intel. You know, if you use those points, but but it levels you a lot really quickly early in the game, so I didn't use it. See, my mercantile is buffed right now. It's not really 98. I forget what it is. And it's a very short spell. The spell is like five seconds, so boom, it's gone, right? And my mercantile is 50, so that shows you what my mercantile really is. And I haven't done any of those. Or the heavy armor. When I switch to heavy armor later in the game, it will be funny. But my light armor isn't all that great because I've been so sneaky. Sneak, you can tell. I've been doing that. So, And I've been doing the lock picking because I'm not afraid to break any locks or lock picks. I have a lot of lock picks. All right. What are we talking about? Oh, yeah. So I have to go put some stuff up at Frostcrag. That's the one house I really use. Uh, it's a great little DLC house. If I did not have Frost Crag, I guess the house I would really use the most. Let me think about this for a minute. I really liked, like I used to really like the Skin Grad house, and it is in the center of the map. It's not too bad. What other house is really good? I'm trying to remember. The Anvil house is okay. Uh, the ship and the pirates is good, but all that's kind of out of the way. The Coral house is nice. The Chaden Hall house is nice. The, uh, the Imperial house is a dump, but you can use it because it's in the middle of everything. And if you use it... Once you become the Arch Mage, then it's really not too bad. Because then you have access to everything over there at the college. Alright, so I was going to do my potions here real fast. Not going to do a lot, but I'm going to do a few. Let's see, do I have any feather stuff? Oh, I don't have anything to do a feather with. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to waste those on other stuff. Most of these I'm just going to sell. But 
this helps. Work up my alchemy a little bit since I'm not at 100 yet. Once I'm at 100, I won't even bother coming up here because it won't matter. I'll be able to do everything on the fly. Okay, that's fine. Now, usually, once you make a potion at a certain level with the equipment I have and everything, um, and it's a certain weight, after that, you can make more of those, and they will generally keep the same weight. Of course, I just prefer to always use light items, and then I don't have any problem, but let's see. Uh, store that. Store that. I don't need those, so let's just move on. I'll go sell them. I'll sell those, too. I don't need any of that. I'll store my void salts for later. I might make, make me a follower at some point just for fun, but they don't last that long. They tend to die. <laughs> Maybe that's because I'm not the best person to have a follower. Maybe that's what it is. It could be. All right, I'm going to save that and keep those things. Oh, was that it? I guess that was it because I sold the uh, I sold the jewelry. Once you have, like I put some jewelry in here, once you have a number of things that you're not using, but it's enough to see here's a ring 25% too. So I have two pieces. If I could get two more pieces, I would be at 100%. Anyway, that's beside the point. Let me check my weight. 157. That's pretty good for me on this guy. He has a few potions to sell, but that's not bad. What time of day is it? Oh, he can still go and, and sell his potions. Though now he can sell them to anybody. Where were we going? Were we going to Coral? Because I could sell at the Coral Mages Guild if that guy's still around. I think he's around till 8. Skin grab, anvil, bruma. You know, they should let you travel to Kavach early in the game until you until you set off the, uh, the quest. But I guess that would have been too much coding and all that. I was going to say, I hope I chose the right place. Sometimes I go to the wrong mages guild. Well met. What's going on with Where's this guy at? Is he in his bed in here? I avoid those things whenever I can. Horrible creatures. Well, I was going to sell my potions to him. He shouldn't be dead. Where's he at? You have the hands of any. I hope I can. I hope so. Anything? No. Half no. You. You too. What time is it? Wow! I thought that guy. Where is he at? Good evening. How strange. Usually that guy is there. You know, the uh, potions guy. It's unusual for him not to be there. It's strange. I have lost track of time totally, by the way. And I know that I'm probably... Um... I heard the most disturbing yeah, I'm going to have to go. So, okay. All right, tell you what. I will find my guy and do my selling, and we'll come back and we'll continue uh, the adventures of Invisible Scotty later, okay? All right, so I want to thank you for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I will catch you later.
live and love. Woo, live and love. Beware the manhandler. Yeah. $39. My goodness. Okay, for a magazine, $39. Yeah, we better have some manhandling going on. Good Lord. This has been an How That's March production. <laughs>